Oh man, this just ain't good. This is sad. Makes me want to cry just looking at it. Now how this happened was I got hold of this base on New Year's Eve. It was a last minute kind of odd thing that came up. Um, some really good friends of mine got me hooked up on it. Super, super good deal. Really cool old base, 1940 model. Um, did some research, found out I love the base, need to set up, needs some things done to it so I could um, play it the way I want to play it. Uh, there's old Bertha there, and she's fine, so I've got her to play. But <clears throat> stood up in the corner of, of my bedroom where it was nice and safe, and it was fine that way for a couple weeks. Decided, well, it's cold out. The furnace is running, the air is getting dry. I wanted to put this in a bag, in a uh, travel bag for an upright base, and I put a little humidifier I made inside of it so it would keep it humidified and protect it. Well, it was there for a couple of days in that corner. I was in the garage working on, on the old Cadillac, and I heard a sound that sounded like a full grown man falling and hitting the ground. So I thought Super Dave was in bed, fell out of bed, or fell down or something. So I came in here, didn't see anything, heard him snoring, thought, well, uh, everything's good. Uh, got done working with with the car and <clears throat> went in to take a shower in my bedroom and saw the base laying on the floor. I thought it was fine until a couple days later when I went to take it out, and that was in the bag. So I don't know what happened. Maybe it was just meant to be that it breaks and whatever the good thing is this neck has been replaced or repaired one other time right there all the way around it's been cracked and off there's a dowel pin that somebody drilled all the way through the back of it put it in there and glued it all back together that's the only saving grace that it's already been fixed once I'm going to fix this with hide glue uh, I've got everything set up my good hair dryer heats up the wood you heat the glue up to about 160 degrees and as much as everything stays at that temperature while you're assembling it and putting it together the better and for you that don't know hide glue is of course it's like rawhide granulated rawhide and what and all instruments all instruments or most anyway acoustic instruments so that's what they're made for made made with uh, heat and moisture release it make it come apart so you can take stuff apart again and work on it and glue it back together with the same stuff put it in here and we'll clamp this together uh, and when that stuff dries out it shrinks super tight it'll draw this crack together and, and I'm pretty close to being sure that you won't be able to tell it was ever broke um, but we'll see I've got my glue going here in the kitchen got a pan with water in it it's uh... well you know about 140, 150, 160 degree water the glue you soak it and, and, and it turns into a gel well then you heat it up it turns into a nice kind of an oily liquid so it's just about ready to go uh, I think I'm 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 ready to go. Let me get this camera set up. Let me get the base warmed up. Let me get some stuff set up, and uh, you guys can actually watch me try this. I just put the live and stay out of it.
That's always a bonus. Uh-huh. You know it. Where'd you get this one at? I bought it on New Year's Eve. Oh, is this that one? Yeah. You're, oh, it's got the neck broke. Yep. Wow, how'd that happen? Well, I can't exactly explain because I don't know. I just heard it crashing. It fell over? Yep, after it had been sitting in the same place the same way for like three or four days. Huh, that's weird. Mm, yeah. So yeah. you're going to have to re-glue it. I wonder if that's what ha happened to Hank Haggard's right there. It snapped like that, too. Mm-hmm. He said his is broke. Oh, is it? He said the next side. They usually break right here yeah, in the joint. That's where it broke then. That would be the stress point. Mm-hmm. Now, is that just regular wood glue? No, no. Some kind of fancy glue? This is hide glue. Okay, yeah. Jackson, please don't. <laughs> here, Jackson. Come over yeah, here, keep buddy. him away for a second. Come here, buddy. Come over here. Ah, see? Jackson. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> You yeah, got so much time you can do this. We can't let the artist get we can't get in the way of the artist. He's practicing his craft. You can sit over here and I'll scratch your neck. Super Dave will just have to stand there until we're done. <laughs> Did you get a new truck, Super Dave? Yeah. Wow. Got rid of the Mustang? Yeah. Wow. Is it new, new? No. Oh, four. Look nice and just want to sell it. It's in good shape. They ain't got no rust or nothing, huh? Dave, put your foot on the bottom of that base. Keep it from sliding, please. Thanks. God damn. Need another pair of hands? It's like an old ass sticker on here. It is. Football fan? No. Never was. None of you musicians watch fucking football. Huh? None of you damn musicians like that. You just don't, don't, because they usually interfere with their gigs. <laughs> Sports does, anyway. Ralphie likes football. Does he? Oh, yeah. Well, up until I was 13, and I got uh, everybody else started getting as big as me. So I wasn't like the superstar of the eighth <laughs> grade team anymore. Yeah, I was freshman just, year, so I was like, I ain't doing this no more. That's kind of how it ended up for me too. Fuck, I never played football. You like it? Couldn't imagine a world without football, though. <laughs> you couldn't imagine. Couldn't imagine a world without the NFL. Wow. <laughs> That's fun. <clears throat> well, everybody likes different things. Oh, yeah. 
I'm not much of a sports fan at all. I do like to go see a baseball game. That's pretty fun. Kind of fun. Oh, yeah. Sorry, Slim. Give me a, just another second, buddy. No, man, you take your time. You're <coughs> performing a dope. Oh, guess what? I got tickets the other night to go see. Oh. Me and my brother and his wife's going to see Stomp. I've seen it. It's pretty cool. I'm bad at his badass. Five or six or seven or eight years ago. Did you? At the Marat Theater. They I think that's where we're going. Butler University or whatever. Isn't that the Marat? No. Or no, it's a... That's Clues. Yeah, I think it is Clues Hall yeah, that we're going to. Yeah, that'll be probably a nicer show. It's a nicer. It'll be a good show there. It'll be a lot of people stomping their feet. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I to call it that. Yeah. Well, I, I don't know that. if you need. <laughs> I just thought it'd be neat players. to see. I figured, fuck it, you know. Uh, a lot of old football players do that now. Stomp their feet. Uh -huh. <laughs> yeah. they, you know, their heads are all fucked up from getting hit so many times. <coughs> yeah. All right. I think that's a noisy ass little cat. A scrawny little cat. Well, I don't know. It's, it might actually just look like it never got broke. Okay, sit down, Jackson. Let's not knock anything over, bud. I'm going to come over here and look at what dad's doing. Stop hitting me with that fucking tag. Me, Dad. Actually, this thing's been broke down here, too. Yeah? It's right there. Uh, uh, is that where it was? No, they're not made that way. Okay. You can look at mine. Mine's the exact identical net. That's been this headstock's been broke off. It's been broke down here. Wow. And I broke it right there. Well, you didn't break it. It just broke when you had it. I broke it. <laughs> That's why I feel. That's why I'm like. Damn. Anyhow. You're too hard on yourself. Oh, did you film it? Yeah. Here, there it goes. Where'd you get uh, that? Wow. Check him out. I don't know if. Uh, it looks like it might turn out pretty well. I'm going to let this set just like this for about I don't know, three or four days to a week. And now i got to go so I can help Mr. Slim uh, load up some gear so he can go play some rock and roll music. Say hi, Slim. How is everybody out there on the internet? <laughs> That's two fingers. It means it's good. Oh, okay. We love you. See you, Slim. All right. All right, well, I got Slim took care of. He wanted to use a piece of equipment or two to play rock band music, I suppose. I'm totally good with that. I like old Slim. I really do. Anyhow, so you, you probably were watching. Hopefully you caught what I was doing there. Uh, use the, the hair dryer on hot and opened up my repair area and got this wood about as hot as I could get it with the air hair dryer. The glue's somewhere around 140, 160 degrees. So I wanted the wood as close to that as I could. I dabbed some water in there too to moisten it up and kind of open the pores up. That way the glue doesn't cool down as soon as you put it on cold wood. And then of course clamped it. Now the tape is to hold the little splinter sliver sticking out. I tried keeping those right back and keeping them tight and all that. Um, so I kind of use them as a small clamp for the smaller splinter areas. Uh, of course we got clamps on it. Clamps on it here. I think it's going to turn out really nice. You can just barely see a little bit of a crack there. Which is no worse than this crack where it had been fixed previously. And I did notice this crack right around here. It kind of goes up along here. So this headstock has been broken off this neck before too. So now the neck has three repairs, you know, and it's a good solid base for a 1940s K model or a Regal that's built by K. Um, that's pro not very unusual. So what we'll do is let this set up three, four days or two a week, or we'll just see. And uh, I'll take it down, take all the clamps off of it, check the neck out. And what I'll do is, is uh, I, I like my necks um, smooth and without finish on them, just like a lot of mandolin players and some guitar players like that too. And it's real shiny. It's got a shiny stuff on it. In the summertime, 
you'll just blister your hands right up while you're playing um, right right you know right in the crook right there uh, anyhow so that's how I like it so what I'll do is I'll sand that down and, and shave it down and make it like I like and that'll totally any kind of cracks that are in the neck or any splinters and everything I think I think it's going to turn out really nice but we'll see and what I'll do is I'll come back show you that in the next video of this playlist and then uh, I'll show you what I do the bridge the strings I'm putting on it and how I'm going to set it up my sound post is of course laying inside the base so I have to fish that out and get that put back into place so I'll, I'll make a little video of getting it all put back together and finished up how about that thanks for watching everybody